What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a custom domain to your lead pages account. Now, the first thing you have to do is obviously buy a custom domain. I have been using Namecheap for the past three years. I've probably bought over 100 domains by now. Um, they have some of the cheapest ones, so you can go in here, namecheap.com. I'll have my affiliate link in the description, and you can search out any domain you want and see if it's available. Now, I already bought a domain for this purpose, uh, freedomlifestyle.live, so we'll be using this one for illustration purposes. Once you purchase the domain, once you're in your lead pages account, go over to the top here, click on that little circular human being, click on domains. And if you're on the basic starter plan, you will only have access to one custom domain. Uh, so don't worry if you already have one, and you can't add any more. So you can either purchase a domain through here, which is a bit more expensive, at least from my experience, uh, or you can just connect a domain here. So we're going to connect it and we can just copy paste this one here. Now we can leave it like this without any subdomain like www or track or blog, whatever. But for the purpose of this video, let's say we want to add www. Now it doesn't have to be that you could add blog, right? You could add travel dot, right? Whatever it is you want to. So let's keep it at www. Now you can't have any existing content on the domain. So if you already have a website using this domain, you can't use that. It has to be something different or at the very least, you have to have a different subdomain like track dot your domain. Okay. For this purpose, I don't have anything. So we'll click no and we'll click next. And then it's really simple. They show you everything there. You know, they, they identify that I'm using Namecheap, uh, but whatever provider you're using, it's really simple to set up. You follow the steps. So we're going to scroll down to this part here. Um, I'm, it, once you're in your domain, you go to advanced DNS. And so now we can set this up. So uh, because our subdomain was www, we're going to copy that and put that here. Uh, it also has to be CNAME. So just follow the instructions. It says, says set type to CNAME. So we're going to change this to CNAME. And then for the value, we can enter that and paste it here and click save. And that is it. Okay. You are pretty much done. Now you scroll down, you click next. You can also redirect your domain so that um, if someone enters without the subdomain, like just freedomlifestyle.live instead of www, it will also be redirected. So you can just select that option. It's a cool little feature. Um, and so if that's what you want to do, you also have to enter a a record so click a record and then you follow the instructions here as well now this is optional you don't need this part but this is so that uh, if you don't want to use a subdomain you can do that so let's click enter and we'll click next okay so now we've added both of these right we'll be using the www one though now this can take up to 48 hours normally it takes really anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes uh, but that's it that's how you do it Hey guys, before we leave, uh, this domain process was actually made much quicker today. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that this now uh, is complete, the process with lead pages, and it is fully connected and secure. So it's HTTPS, which is awesome. And then when you go to your landing pages, if you go back to the landing page that we've created, let me just quickly show you um, what that would look like. A second now you click update you go to publishing options and now you can select from the drop down you select that domain you click done and you click update and that's it now this um, this page will open with that domain so if we view page now as you can see it's freedom lifestyle or if we delete that this shows up as well and it just redirects to the www uh, but it's also secure. So that is it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this one, you will also like my Google ads playlist and my unbounce playlist where I teach you how to make unbounce pages from scratch. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.